What's up YouTube? We're here at the Appa Hotel in Island, New Jersey for the third ever King Con Comic Con event. Um, we were here for King Con 2. It was a really awesome show. This is at the same venue. It was at the same hotel. And uh, yeah, I mean, we have really high expectations for this show. There's a lot of big names that are here, a lot of big YouTubers, and then just a lot of people that are really uh, notable in the comic book community. Uh, we'll be trying to feature as many people as we can on the channel today. Um, Dad, are we looking for anything today? What are, what are we looking for? Good deals and great books, that's it. So, yeah, I got my eye out for kind of X-Men books that I'm looking for, but I'm not gonna break the bank on anything. If I don't get it for a good price, I'm not gonna pull the trigger, but you know, with the way the markets have been recently, I think guys might be a little bit flexible to bend on some of their, you know, kind of mid-grade books or their, their lesser keys. I, I think you can find some good prices today. We'll see how, how vendors react to um, any offers we shoot to them. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys inside. Hopefully we have a good show. CGO. Yes. I watch you all the time, man. Yes. You're really good. What's your name? Donald. Donald. I see you, you, you do the shows at the, uh, the Meadowlands, Meadowlands right? Flea Market, yeah. Yeah, I, I watch you all the time. Just, just to, just to he, get in touch. He, he likes to go to the flea market and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me know, too. I, you're, you're, I enjoy your vlogs, man, really. Thank you so put much. Some, continue the good stuff you put on. Really there, appreciate really. it. Your name? Christopher, nice to meet you. And Donald. Nice to meet you. Be nice well. to meet you guys. How's it going? Thank you. No metal ass flea market today, young man? No, not today. You've answered every one of my comments when I've, when I've you know, Howard. Howard, yes, 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 yes. The elbow in the box, and yep, oh, yep, you yep, got a yep. good spot today. Yep, yep, and, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was older than your father when I saw him. No, I, I try to reply to all the comments, yeah. yeah. So how, how's your collecting doing? It's going pretty good. Yeah. It's going pretty I good. Mean, We're hoping I, to add to it today. I only buy to read. Yeah. I've told, I, you, I, I've told you sometimes get down to Columbus or something. Yeah. There's a only Columbus. one guy down there on the antique side that's got like, he's every week this guy Ryan. He's got thousands of comic books. Other than that, it's like, you just it's it's a big flea market. Because I, I live over in High Sunny's window, so I get on at exit 8 and I go down to 7 and then I drive from there locally. But uh, uh -huh. for you, I know it's a, it has it. Right? It is a little bit of a drive. It's yeah. it's probably like an hour plus. But, um, Hello. but you know, you know me, I like looking at other stuff besides yeah. comics too, so that's why I want to go and well, just check it out. The old Superman Crush ones, the old Batman Carmine Infantino, the Gil Canes, the John Bassinos, this stuff today is kind of the best. They're still printing this stuff while you're, while you're buying it. You know? Howard? I'll look down your video. Yeah, sounds good. I do encourage you guys to watch this entire video because I'm going to be doing a lot of this. I'm going to be showing off really people's books. I want you guys to see what was at the show. So I'm going to really just, you know, uh, show off the boxes. I'm going to let you see what people had and, and kind of what I was looking at. This guy had great books at great prices. Uh, all these Silver Age Teen Titan books, these are all books that as soon as my dad's done talking, I'm going to try to get him over here to go look through them. But, yeah, it's really good stuff. Uh, this is the first stand that I go to. And, honestly, in hindsight, I wish I had spent more time at this guy's stand and more time flipping through all of his books and more time uh, just trying to neg negotiate his wall books because he probably had the some of the best prices uh, at, at the show. So I really appreciate that. You guys know me. I'm, I'm kind of a value buyer. I don't want to pay $5 for something that's worth $5 or, or, le or more than that, you know. Um, I'm always looking for a good value buy, and this guy had a lot of great value prices. Uh, you know, like like I said, I just wish I spent more time here, going through his stuff. And then, as I'm flipping through the books, we run into Mo from the Jersey Coin video. Uh, he's here shopping with his brother and his mom, and uh, yeah, really cool. Really cool. What's going on, Mo? What's going on? Um, I just like when you. I've been here for like five minutes. Oh, I, I, I just got like a few stuff from like the other side. They have like some nice stuff. So, tell me, what are you looking for when you when you're going out and looking for stuff? Uh, sort of, uh, I'm trying to look for like You really like cover art? Uh, me too. How's it going? I'll take these two. What's that? Cool. Six bucks. Two five. On top of his great prices, he gives me a dollar back, so really appreciate that. You have a YouTube or something? Yeah, uh, CGL's New Jersey Collectibles. Oh, cool. Basically, do flea, a lot of flea markets, but comic book shows on occasion, like like these. These are 
Oh, nice. It's a really nice show. Is that a follower? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I got people all the time that just like want to yeah. be on the channel and stuff. So my buddy's a Let's Play guy and Twitch streamer, uh -huh. so I have seen that interaction mm -hmm. many times. But <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was just curious though the condition of your Fantastic yeah, Four, yeah. the '67, the the. So it is a low grade copy, but okay. it's complete. And okay. I do have a little bit of room on it if you're interested. Okay. I was just, yeah, I was just curious the condition of it. It it is low, but I, I you know maybe. One five, maybe a two zero, but like I said, it is complete. I just got here, so I'm going to be looking at a bunch of wall books and then thinking like, what, what am I going to pull the trigger on? So, thank you, thanks. So the first table went pretty well. I go up to this guy's booth. Looks like he has a lot of nice stuff, uh, CGC graded. But then he tells me this. You might not recording. What? You might not recording. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. To that I say, go bleep yourself, you know, fill in the blank with whatever you want there. But here I am at the comic book show, you know, I'm trying to support the community, I'm trying to uh, uh, expose, I'm trying to show pe what people have, I'm trying to show off people's stuff. And uh, for this guy to say that, you know, I never had that happen to me in my year and, and couple months of doing YouTube to somebody say, please don't record, and that's fine, because there's plenty of books here to look at, and I'm going to go check out somebody else's stuff. Nice stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's up, bro? <laughs> How's it going? How's it going, man? Dollars, Scooby Doo's. I just saw the other kid. Okay. Yeah. What do I owe you? Fifteen on this? Yeah. It's in really nice shape. Yeah. We might have some more Scooby Doo. My uncle just sorted through some. So look, I'll take okay. care of you. Whatever you want, I'll take care of you. Cool, cool. Got a five? Yeah. How you guys doing so far? Doing good? We sold that uh, Spider-Man 1. Really? Yeah. Well, oh, oh, it's a Spider-Man 1. 3-5. Yeah. 3-5. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What else you got? What's what's the big book right now? You got First Kang. We got Hulk 1. Hulk 1. Yeah. X-Men 1. That's a big one. Wow. I'm going to get this all on video. <laughs> I'll let you know, man. What was that? No, no, I was there Monday night. Um, Phil was bowling you guys, and I was just looking for someone to sub with. But I'll be there week to week, just subbing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be awesome. What are you asking on the X Men 109, the 96 here? Eight fifty, I could do seven fifty for you. I take a hundred. Yeah. And that's GPA. Right? Yeah. Awesome. I just got here, so I'm gonna make my. I'm gonna do all my rounds and stuff, and just kind of. We're here. Yeah, I love I love stuff like this too. Yeah, I love this stuff. I'll work with you, so whatever you want. Cool, cool. I 
He's like, did you hear yesterday? <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. What is this one? Book for self racing. Gerard, you want to do 20 bucks for these? 15 and 10? There you go, man. Thank you. I'm going to stop by again. Thanks. Did you check out the guys' Teen Titan books? No. So after stopping by my friend Gerard's uh, stand, he has Hulk 1. He's got so many amazing books. Uh, he shows me his post regularly. I'll put his Instagram down below. Uh, you guys might have seen it already. But, yeah, it's unbelievable stuff. So I, I'm just going to take Dad over to... Um, Check out those Teen Titan books that I was talking about earlier. Unfortunately, there's somebody blasting music, which I don't have a problem with. That's really a me problem because I just don't want to get copyrighted on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, so I've, i got to do a lot of talking over this stuff and just kind of fill in the blank at the moment. But, yeah, Dad's going to go through the Teen Titan books and end up pulling a couple out, and I'll show them off at the end. Yeah, really Evan, hey, how's, how's going, going on, bro? Nice how's it going? Here. Awesome, awesome stuff as usual. Thank you. What do you got? What's, what's like the big book today? Anything really? There was a Spider-Man here, but it got traded for this. Um, Fantastic 474. Got some good, 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 yeah, good stuff. There's some good stuff. Awesome, awesome. Right. Let me start let me start digging. Um all those like first issues. 
What's going on? I'm going to head out. I'm okay. going to like, take a picture for it. Yeah, awesome. You want to take a quick picture with these guys? Not a problem. Let's, let's, how about we get, let's get a comic book in there or something. I right? You want How's the YouTube been? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm I'm actually backed up on content right now. <laughs> That's a good I, problem. Yeah, I have so much to do and not enough time to do it. School? Uh, working full time now. Yeah, I got. I mean, just applied for a full time position. Just curious, the um, the Spider Man uh, nineteen. Just curious what you had on that. Lots of room for 150. What do you, you got on the 33? I think I got the majority of myself on my mom's list. Lots of room. So yes, the reason I'm checking okay. out this uh, basic Spider-Man 19, for those of you that don't know, this is the first appearance of Matt Gargan, who then becomes the Scorpion in the next issue. Um, Dad has this book in his collection, and I was figuring if this was an upgrade, then we can sell our lesser copy. And, and yeah, acquire this one. These to, to some but uh, Dad's copy is like a 3035. This one, like Evan said, he has a kind of at a 2 0, and he's kind of right on the money there. So I'm going to pass on it because it's not an upgrade for our collection. That's like that one, most popular double cover. She was asking for. Here we're going through Bronzeville Comics uh, booth. He has a YouTube channel of his own. Go check him out. He has a lot of these really nice Bronze Age X-Men books, but like most of these books that I'm finding nowadays, they're just outside my desired price point. Thank <laughs> you. 
Got an inventory system with those barcodes? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It takes an awful lot of time. I bet, but that's it's worth it. So then I know like what collection. Exactly, what, yeah, that, that's awesome. <laughs> no, I paid for the collection already. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. You're welcome, thank you. What's up, bud? How you been? Now I'm at Erod212 Stan. Check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he had a lot of great books. I hope you guys enjoy uh, seeing these books as much as I did. A white cover, he's doing that, you know. Yeah, the string is closed. Right. I'm going to give you the business. It's insane that nobody can help you with that. Oh, I can put up the show. I see that. You're learning proof that you can still be a little bit more with help. He's a snack or so. Yeah, he just snaps all the time. You didn't look at my boxes, bro. I'm, I'm disappointed. You know what? Honestly, I'm disappointed. <laughs> you know, when I gotta go digging for you, you know what's funny? Yeah. I, and, 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 I, and, I, and I, I would tell you, man, I'm not, I'm not in the digging mood today. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's got 30 percent off all his books. Oh. Sorry, man. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yo, you got here, brother? Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got one already. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. You know which one you guys left out? The guy was out of my favorite. Is that you guys? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, appreciate it, really appreciate it. I think your father forgot the Shazam book. Did you forget something? Oh. Yeah, I watched the channel, uh, started maybe about a month ago. Uh -huh. Watched through all the videos, like, it's awesome. It's, it's cathartic watching other people buy comics. It's cool, right? That's it's good. fun. It that, that's, I love watching people do stuff like that, so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll do that too. You got a, people you got like it. Soul, man. You got an old soul, man. Appreciate like, it. I feel like we grew up in the same era. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Nice shirt, too. That's a big thing. How's it going? Hey. Just curious, the, um, the Hulk 271, just curious what you had on that. 90 bucks. Oh, it's got some yuckiness there. Yeah, it's got a little water stain. All right, thank you. Sure, no worries. Thanks. Rated 3.0. Yeah. Evan, what can we do with, with these here? Billion bucks. <laughs> Billion and a half. Deal. <laughs> You see the second warlock in there, the, the other cameo? No, is that in here? Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Uh, it's a bigger mylar. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, let's, let's throw that in there. I think they have good. 
Good deal. Good deal. Thank you. Forty. Fifty. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank man. you. What did you see at the show? Well, prices are still high. Uh, the stuff that's hot is high, and even the stuff that's not really hot, the prices are high. So we were expecting, with the market being the way it was, maybe better deals. Uh, some of the vendors worked with us. They were they were good. They tried to make deals. They tried to sell. But uh, I feel like if things continue the way they're going, I mean, the market's down, everything else is down, we might see softer prices by the time we're into early next year. So be patient. The best advice I think I got was from Evan, a uh, great seller, and he said to be patient is a key part of hunting for great comics. Yeah, I feel like it's it was the same thing for me. Like, when I said... The markets have been down recently. I was looking at kind of the overall global markets, the, the S&P 500. This week was a, a really bad week for anybody that's a stockholder. You know, prices were down. And the past month has been a steady decline. I think we're all coming off the peak. We're, we're actually close to hitting the lowest we've been in the past two years. Today's comic book prices did not reflect that. Today's comic book prices were not lowest we've seen in two years. A lot of them were very, very high. Um, when we asked people about certain key issues, everybody was saying, um, I w I'm willing to work with you on it. I'm willing to work with you on it. That, that to us is a great indicator that, you know, people are nervous about holding on to these big books, especially if they have a lot of money invested into them. Um, these prices might not hold up very much longer. Me, at the end of the day, after I found all the best deals that I could find, went to all my friends and got, and got books from them, uh, I thought to myself, I'd rather hold the money and wait then spend it on something now. Um, we obviously have New York Comic Con coming up. That might be a total uh, crap show. We'll see. We will. We will. I haven't been to Comic Con in years, and uh, it's going to be my first time going as a comic book buyer. We'll see if the prices are reality or if the prices are still fantasy. Today, today I was looking at a lot of guys that were uh, in the face of reality. They saw reality. They see reality lurking around the corner, but they're still holding on to the fantasy numbers. Um, so for me, you know, didn't buy anything really big, but today I see it as a win because I'm not going to end up losing money on anything really uh, uh, that, that significant. All right, guys, so we are back from King Con 3. Um, probably one of the best shows that you're going to go to in New Jersey. They have it like once or twice a year. Last time we went was back in March, I believe, was King Con 2. So maybe sometime in the in the near future, in four, five, six months, uh, we'll have King Con Four. And uh, I heard that they're trying they're trying to expand it. So uh, that'll be re really fun. So shout out, and also a uh, huge shout out to my friend uh, Yasmin in Portugal who made the thumbnail for this video. So if you guys like that, uh, if you guys like the picture, if you guys like the thumbnail, uh, let me know in the comment section. We'll do a lot more of those. So. I'm going to start off by showing off most of Dad's purchases, and Dad bought a lot of stuff off camera, and all of these books that he found were dollar books. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, anytime you go to uh, comic book shows, uh, the bigger the better, um, you're going to find a lot of dollar bin stuff, and usually you can find some pretty good deals in there. Um, you know, it, it all depends on what you're really collecting. I'm not saying you're going to find big key issues in dollar bins. That's not uh, traditionally how it works. But you can find cool stuff like this for a dollar. And, you know, my dad, uh, he either sees uh, more than a dollar's worth of value here or he's buying this stuff to read it and to, and to put it into his collection. Uh, so that right there, there's some nice Bronze Age Marvel stuff. Uh, Richie Rich. Here, here's really the steal of the day, or, or the two, three. Let's see how many he has. He got a bunch here. I believe he, I believe he did in fact pay a dollar a piece for these, which is unbelievable. But it's Hanna Barbera Scooby Doo books. This one's probably my favorite because it's the uh, the clown episode. <laughs> uh, I love these books. These are my favorite. I'm, my my dad does the digging, so you know he he finds. I believe he did in fact find these for dollars. Uh, you know. These are not um, bagged and boarded, so somebody just kind of had them. You know, they are a little rough, but all these books, all those Scooby-Doo books are worth more than a dollar a piece, uh, no doubt. 
There's some more Richie Rich. Uncanny X Men 225. Uh, so yeah, as I'm flipping through these books, uh, I'm just getting some kind of flashbacks to the show. And just want to give a huge shout out to everybody that uh, came out and said hi to me um, and just showed their support for the channel. I couldn't, unfortunately, I couldn't capture every single one of you guys in the video. Otherwise, you know, we would have had like a two hour long video. But um, yeah, it's, it's really always a, a fun pleasure to uh, go to a show and to have people come up and say that they're enjoying the channel content and everything like that. I do apologize. This video is getting out late. It's just... Uh, I am backed up, guys. I am I am so busy with with work. I, I'm now working um, full time, uh, kind of erratic hours too. So that's all good, but it is difficult to uh, to balance this uh, this comic book life as well. But we're managing. We're managing. Put that stack up. Move this back a little bit. Uh, here's another nice dollar book. It does have some writing on the cover. It's a little bent up, but Tomb of Dracula. Looks like that's number 30. But yeah, we do have some big shows coming up. Um, New York Comic Con is this week. I do have my Sunday ticket passes. I'm excited to go. It's my first time going to Comic Con as a New York Comic Con as a comic book buyer. In the past, I've been just a toy slash collectible buyer, but now I'm going for comic books as well. So, uh, I've heard some pretty good things about the show so far through like uh, group texts and and social media posts. So, it all seems like it's going to be a, a pretty good show, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Here's a I, I always like the, this comic book cover. I don't know why. It's just like the live action cover looks so cool. And that's uh, that looks like a werewolf by night there in the background. That's pretty cool. And Batman three eighty nine. So that was all. Those were all Dad's dollar comics. He also um, bought a bunch of these Teen Titan books. Uh, these were all five bucks a piece. I don't know if he got a deal on them or if he just paid the five dollars a piece for them. But honestly, out of everybody who was at the show, I wish I had just spent a little bit more time at this guy's stand because I I bought some books from him. I was also looking at his uh, Fantastic Four, um, I forgot what number it is, 61, 62, with the Cocoon cover. Um, he had it for 125 and he probably would have taken like a $100 offer. I, I, I Look guys, at the end of the day, I just don't believe in these books enough at, at, at current uh, market value. You know, I, I think that there's a lot of room for these books to fall before they rise back up. So for me, I'm not going to be dropping a lot of money on something that I think is going to depreciate in six months. So that's where I stand on that. So those were dad's books that he got from that guy. Here were the two books that I found. Um... You guys know I've been buying a bunch of these lately, and this is a, this is kind of a, a giant size. Uh, Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures. I don't know if this is a number one or not. Like, I mean, it, it does look, like the artwork does look a little more, I want to say primitive. And like I said, it is a giant size, so, but three bucks. I mean, it's, it's in really good shape. And here's our favorite book of the channel, Journey into Mystery 116. It's rough. It I, I'm assuming the cover's detached just by looking at it, but... For three bucks, I'm going to buy it. And that, that's what I did with another uh, Journey into Mystery book here. Let's see if I can find it. These books here, these three books I bought from uh, Bronzeville Comics. And uh, he has a cool barcode system. Uh, he says it took, took takes a lot of time to uh, get this working, get this going. But once it starts going, it, I'm sure it's extremely beneficial. So he can scan the barcode with his phone to let him know you know, kind of that this book is not, not no longer in his, in his collection or what condition he has the books in, all that kind of fun stuff. So I found that for two bucks. Here was the other Journey into Mystery I found. And, you know, it's it's rough, um, but it is uh, for five bucks, a, a nice early Journey into Mystery. And then I, I splurged on this uh, Amazing Spider-Man 162. He had it for 20 bucks, and I thought that was a fair price for it. Uh, here's another one of Dad's purchases. Um well worth it a really nice copy i'm just looking at it it's not it's not 
you know, it's not like a 9.0 or anything, but it is a really sharp copy of X-Men 111 that dad bought for 15 bucks. Now, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> I was looking for Bronze Age X-Men at like 25 bucks or less in good condition. And this guy had it marked at 20. And I think dad offered him 15 for it and he took it. And yeah, it's like, that that's a really good book. I, I'm not sure if this is the first appearance of Arcade, but it might be. X-Men 111 might be his first appearance. It's a great book. It's a great book. Uh, these books I got from my friend Gerard, who I bowl with, or used to bowl with. I'm not, I'm not bowling in that league anymore. But um, he had a really, this is a really nice uh, condition, Scooby-Doo. It does have a little chip up there. Um, that he he sent me this on Instagram and he was like, would you be interested in it? And I was like, yeah, I'll take that. And uh, so he put that aside for me. And then going through his, I was really glad he brought these because there was not a lot of stuff like this at the show. He had these Monster World vintage magazines. And so I bought two. Um, he had them stickered at $25 for both of them. I asked if he would take 20. He said, yes, this one to me was my favorite. The Creature from the Black Lagoon. That's that's just so cool. Like the, uh, I love the vintage uh, horror look, and that is those those were really cool buys. I think that that might have been. I think that this magazine right here was probably my favorite buy of the of the show. I would say, for ten bucks. I mean, it's it's just that's the kind of stuff that I love. And last but not least, this is where I did spend the most money. I believe I paid seventy dollars, or no, it was like fifty dollars for everything because they were stickered at seventy. Um, this is from my friend Evan, who is a really awesome, uh, comic book enthusiast. So I'll link his, uh, Facebook, his, um, Instagram and stuff down in the comments below. He's always, he's always at a bunch of shows and always bringing really good stuff. And he's always fair with his prices. So, um, he's one of the few guys that I saw that were, that was not hooked on my, what I'm calling my, uh, fantasy world, you know, he was, he's live. Evan's living in reality, so I can, I can deal with somebody who's living in reality, I can't deal with people that are in, uh, in fantasy, um, Mighty Avengers number 68, really just, it's just a nice copy, it's a really clean copy, and that's why I bought all these books, is they're in really nice condition, um, here we got the second cameo appearance of Adam Warlock, Thor 163, it does have this kind of bend, this, uh, what would you call it, this fold going right down the middle, but otherwise, it's a really nice book. Colors really pop on it. And then, probably the best book that I bought today, the third uh, cameo appearance of Adam Warlock, Thor 164. Obviously, an early Ego, the Living Planet appearance. And yeah, 163, 164. And then the Avengers 68. All these books for 50 bucks. They're all, I, I'd say they're all 5.0 or better. You know, they're, they're, they're really nice copies. So that was it. That was our trip to um, uh, King Con Three. Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm gonna. This is gonna kind of be a common theme in my recent upcoming videos, especially the ones that I've already recorded that you guys have not seen yet, but they are coming. Is just the fact that it just seems like we are living in a, a fantasy world right now in the comic book community, where um, stock prices are are. At 52-week lows, they're really at lows from over the previous two years. Uh, real estate is plunging. Uh, the the used car market is is balancing back into into place as to where it should be, or at least where it was back uh, a couple years ago. And to me, I, I'm not seeing comic book prices really reflect that. I'm not seeing people panicking as much in the comic book community as I am seeing them in other communities. But that's a good sign for me when. When the stock market and the real estate market start to go, the collectibles antique markets will soon follow. So listen, guys, if you're heavily invested into these, first of all, like I, I always say on this channel, you should never overinvest into anything. You should never really break the bank for anything other than really a blue chip uh, comic, like a Hulk one, um, like a Amazing Fantasy 15, which most of us are not in that kind of bracket to to buy books like that. So you really shouldn't be breaking the bank on stuff like this. You know, that, that's why I bought these books all at good fair prices. I'm not I'm not spend, spending too much on them. I'm not chasing mass-produced stuff like um, uh, 
Hulk 181s or giant size X-Men ones, as much as I want those books, because they're great books, I love them. They're, they're not really that rare of books to be spending, you know, five figures on. So, uh, yeah, with, with that being said, uh, we're just going to wait and see. I believe prices are going to fall. And then when they fall, I'm going to have a nice pile of cash ready and I'll be able to buy books that I really like at discounted prices. So that'll be a lot of fun when that happens. But until then, we just got to wait and, and just got to got to grind it out. You know, just buy stuff like this all the time and just, just kind of grind it out. And keep making fun content for you guys. And I really appreciate you guys sticking around for this video. Uh, next one will probably be New York Comic Con. Uh, I'm going to try to push that video to the front of the list. So I'm really excited going this weekend. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one. Hope to see you guys at Comic Con. I'll be there Sunday. Let me know if you're going to be there and try to find me. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.